Hey guys, it's Mallard with another stamp video, and at long last, my Great Britain safe album has come in. So I'm going to unbox it for you guys, and then we're going to take a look at it, um, show you why I love these safe albums, um, and maybe even put a few stamps in it tonight. If you have been following me for a while, you'll know that I actually have a ton of stamps from Great Britain um, that I have collected and accumulated from eBay and of course from my bins over the past few months and I have not been able to put them in my safe album. This was back ordered for, oh shoot, I don't know. Uh, I think I ordered it before the summer. Maybe I ordered it around May or something and I've just been waiting on it to come in um, and it's finally here. So we're going to unbox it, get into it, and again, I'm not sponsored by SAFE um, albums. I just think they're the best things out there. So I do think if you do find this video interesting, go check out their website. I'll put the link in the description down below. Um, and without further ado, we'll get this open. Let me go get something to kind of pre-open it because obviously I can't open it with one hand. So I just tried and I actually couldn't get it out with one hand, so I just went ahead and got it. Um, I did get the Great Britain um, specific binder. Um, for this guy, these binders are heavy duty. Um, they definitely protect the stamps within the safe album pages. Um, so just open it up. Got a little protection there, put that on the ground. They do send you with a nice pamphlet, or uh, I should say magazine of collecting supplies. They do coins as well as stamps, but I think uh, for stamp collectors, these albums are great. I believe these are gonna be my safe album pages. As you can see, you can order um, the album pages by year, so 1840 to 1936. I think the U.S. safe album I have is about the same. It has this very protective um, cover here. You put the pages in between both these manila color um, pages. So um, let me get them in um, and show you what they look like. And again, I'll talk about why I love these safe albums. Just got the pages in. Um, I believe there are 16 of these that keep it super secure. Make sure that there's no tearing of the pages unless you really pull on it. Um, and we're gonna turn to the first page. Now, what I love about um, the Safe album is not only do they have a picture and kind of a description, um, but they also have this protective, as you can see, plastic sheet that goes over this page that has the actual listings on it. Um, now, as you can see, there's actually these little slots that you slip the stamps in. So you pick it up like this, you bend it back like that. You take your tweezers or your tongs, not tweezers, your tongs with your stamp. You can just slide it on in there and it works great. Also, it gives the watermark that should be here, perforation. It gives you all the details you need. Um, if you don't have a Scott Specialized catalog, it really, really helps you out. Um, and again, it just keeps the stamp so secure, um, as well as being able to see the back of these stamps if you want to. If, being, if a mint hinge is something you're really interested in, but also really proud of showing off, then I would also do that. Use this page, 1855, 1865. Look at how awesome this is. Now they are in black and white, uh, but that's okay. If you are serious enough to get an album like this, you should kind of know um, the Scott numbers because these go from one all the way um, to the 1934 series. So you should be able to keep those in order. As you can see, again, just come over here, 1967, 1978. Should be pretty straightforward. I know mine's going to have a ton of holes in it. 73, 83. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. I've been waiting on this album for so long. I will finally be able to put the stamps that I've been accumulating for a ton of time in here. And most of the time, if there is some sort of variation, the page will let you know what that variation is. See, right here, it looks like we have two that are the same, but again, you just go to Scott Catalog and you figure out what's different. Because again, I, I am, my opinion is you're only having these stamps if you know, you're a serious collector and buying this album if you're a serious collector. Like I bet you there's some color variation 
Um, for these two up here, they do look slightly different. Work our way down. Same thing with this. You can see this one's a little darker than that one. So I guess it tries to give you an idea, but it wants to also show you the picture. Blue King George. Again, with the years, different languages. So if English isn't your thing, you have left behind. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, you'll see here, half penny, one penny. Golly, I'm just so excited to fill these up. Yeah, it looks like we got some variations up here of the same stamp. 1P, 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 1P. So, definitely going to have to take my time filling this up. I don't want to put stamps in the wrong place. That would be a nightmare for me. I would be very, very sad. I think we're getting near the end. Um, and if you guys want to know the price, I mean, I, like I said, I'm super honest, super open. Um, so, the album itself, I believe, was around $60. So, just this navy album that's great britain specific and i believe the pages were about 120 um so i did spend a little bit of money but again i don't think um i wasted money i think buying an album that will last you know past my lifetime um to my kids is something i definitely want to do um and this is one of the best ways to protect the stamps also i hate hinges um, I always tears off usually a little piece of the back side of the stamp if you don't remove them carefully. So I am more than happy and glad to get these so that I can make sure my stamps are not hinged in any way into an album. But yeah, guys, this is, uh, this is it. This is the safe album for Great Britain. I'll be doing a video about filling this bad boy up in the future. Um, but for now, and we'll have to sit on the back burner. You have some things I need to do beforehand. But um, yeah, let me know what you think about the album in the comment section down below. I will leave a link to the website where you can buy these albums. I highly recommend them. Again, I'm not sponsored by Safe Albums. It'd be dope if they did that, but not sponsored by them. This is just my personal opinion, trying to help you guys out. Because um, again, I'm just trying to help young collectors, old collectors, you know, just love the hobby, want to help it out. Um, and as always, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for watching.